What's up, everybody? We're back with another Knee Jack, Knee, knee Jack, Knee Jack City. <laughs> knee, it still don't make sense. Knee Jerk Reaction Review. This one is Don't Breathe 2, which I got to say, I didn't have a lot of hope for. I was like, do we really need it? It looks kind of cliche. It looks like it could just be its own thing. It's like that one off. Oh, it was kind of enjoyable kind of movie, but is it really good? But did it turn out to be good? Rodney, you got some thoughts here? I enjoyed it. And I've non-spoiler, by the way, we're gonna. I got to do spoilers on this because there's a lot to spoil. So be ready for that. Go on. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's definitely a good one-time watch after you watch the first one. Um, the trailers. So I thought before seeing this movie that the trailers showed me everything that was happening in the movie all the kills all the story everything all the twists and everything it does not it the the trailers show glimpses of scenes but they're they're all extended scenes so like you get more from everything that you see uh that's what i tried to do the first time stephen lang playing this character he f he seemed way way more aged in this one than in the first one he seemed like he went from like a sixty-year-old man to like a ninety-year-old man in this. You think so? Uh, yeah, the way he was talking and walk, like carrying himself and shit, he just—he seemed like his character was way older. Here's something I can say about that: is I feel like it's not that he was way older; he was more, 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 and this one, and the first, oh Jesus Christ! Thought you're standing up, hookah gone bye bye. Uh, he's more vulnerable in this one. And the first one, even though they broke into his house, he was on the attack, and it was three people that didn't really know what they were doing. They're not even necessarily violent, and one of them got taken out right away. So it was just two people, and he didn't even know he had anything to be afraid of because he was like he didn't even know they were in the house. Then he was just like, okay, now that I know, I got. Two people here. He got the sense of that because this dude's smart as shit. And this one, he has got gang members coming after him from every direction. So I think he's going to look more clumsy because he's, at the end of the day, he is a blind dude. Right. I think that's what kind of made him look a little more aged. It's not a negative thing for me. No, at all. no. It's just, I'm just pointing that out in case you didn't think about that. Yeah, it just, it, it's, his character was a little bit different in this one than the last one. Uh, the kills were brutal. In this, I, I like I like yeah. the kills in it. Uh, Good stuff. A certain eye gouging scene. Uh, a certain glue on mouth and nose so that the person can't breathe. <laughs> that <laughs> like, was cool as fuck. Some of the things that Man, he don't did. Don't breathe. Yeah. Man, right oh, shit. <laughs> some of the things he did to these guys was it's pretty brutal. Uh, I do I do I did end up liking the the character of the little girl. I didn't think I originally would, I was like it's not very good. Yeah, actor, I didn't but think she grew she, on me. Yeah, she, she wasn't great, did. but she was solid. Uh, a there's a couple twists there. in this movie we'll get to. That one of them I thought was really solid, and the other one I was just like, eh, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I I enjoyed it. I it to me, it's nowhere near as good as or on the caliber level as the first one. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if you agree with me on that or not, because mm -hmm. I know you you know, enjoy this one a little bit more than me. So At least it seems that way. We haven't gave out scores yet. Right. Um, yeah, for me, this was exactly what I thought it was, but just as I kind of explained, I thought it was going to be like that one-off movie. Do we really need this? It kind of could be its own thing. It's like that one movie you watch, it's like a 7 out of 10 or something. It's like, oh, it's good, but I don't really need to watch this again. And you know what? I kind of did get that for the most part, but there's a little more to it. So let's just go ahead and jump into spoilers real quick. All right. The first spoiler that really hit me, they kind of disguise this as, y'all should be gone by now, a human trafficking type thing. They had it all in the news, and you're like, okay, this is where it's going, and then you immediately see the guy coming after the girl, and they even show in the back of the truck that the guy was driving, there's like a fucking cooler. I'm like, okay, we know where this is going. Turns out, as the movie progresses, it's none of that. Yeah, I, I didn't like the fact that they... Because at first, it's like they made it the human trafficking thing, but then for like the next 30 minutes of the movie, there's no... 
development of that plot. There's no yeah. fucking no nothing. So I'm like, this really? kind of like, snuck in there. And it, it when see this is what I can praise about the movie so much is there's so many times I'm like. Really, like, how many bad things happens to this guy? Like, they just they break in. Now they break into his house to do some human trafficking. It was stretching my believability. Yeah. But this is what this movie did so well. They're like, oh, guess what? It's not human trafficking. Dude had a beanie on. He took it off. Girl had a white streak in her hair. She even asked Stephen Lang where she got it from. He was like her mom, who obviously didn't exist. And he's got that white streak, and he explains he's coming for his daughter. That's what they were doing this whole yeah. time, and I love how they flip that on its head. Did Which was not a good twist. see it coming, and then eventually, after a bunch of mayhem, they break out and they go away. Now, at one point, they sick their dog in a weird series of events to go on to Stephen Lang, and then Stephen Lang avoids the dog. But after they light a fire, he lets the dog come out. And even I was wondering, I'm like, how is a blind man gonna? And again, I was like, they're just not gonna be able to cover this up. I'm like, oh, he has their dog. He's like, go home great way again to fill that in that little gap that was coming they did so good at touching up every little base and then when they do go back to the place of course they see the mother everything she sees her mother finally the daughter everything's all hunky dory and you realize there's a plot that she's dying and you're like oh my god she's dying why when's this gonna break up because they seem nice like i don't see how the girl's gonna turn she's so young why would she go back to Stephen lang his character and then out of nowhere they reveal like she needs a heart and they fucking drugged her, and she fucking See, I passes didn't like out. That twist. I love this twist. I was like, "Holy shit, this is intense as fuck. This is about to go down to the wire." Now we have an ending, and this is creepy as fuck. It got dark out of nowhere, and I love that because that darkness out of nowhere elevated the movie for me personally. Well, it's just it, it seemed like an unnecessary twist for me because I'm like, at the end of the day, like they're not gonna do anything about it. Like, you know that they're they not going to actually get the heart of the little girl. You know, they. I can see that. But it was intense. Much. And another thing that happened when they, she saw the. There's an old guy in the fucking alleyway when she walked out because he said she could leave originally. And I was like, why is that old guy there? And I kind of wrote oh, it yeah. off. But I was like, once again, the movie has a fucking answer for me. Every step of the way where I was like, okay, this is kind of a negative. And they just fucking. They always had an answer. Every fucking step of the way. And then, of course, there's a big battle. And when they said in the trailers, he's like, now you see what I see. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk about flipping lights yeah, off again. Too. They gouge dude's they eyes out. Crazily, too. Like, oh, my dude, Lord. In a gruesome fashion, too. It, yeah. It's so good the way he did that. Yeah. And uh, the yeah, ending, you're, though. You're, you're, I'll let you take the ending of it, but I, I'll say real quick what happens next caught me by surprise. I did mm -hmm. not expect. After he gouged his eyes out, I did not expect this to happen, and I I, I liked what happened, so yeah. I'll let you take it. There though. was an emotion there after you thought it was all said and done where Stephen Lang's like, I'm not good enough, and that was another thing. It's like, okay, this made me feel for the characters. It was kind of wasn't believable because believable you're like, now he's the protagonist. Even the whole movie, I'm like, is this still believable? But that little emotional moment where he said, get away from me, you felt him having remorse for things he did, it kind of tied that together where that was even okay. Like, I felt it by everything they went through and everything we've been through with this character. That made that a little better. And then the girl's dad was still alive. They had a nice little epic battle, and he got stabbed before, you know, fucking him up some more and pushing him into this pool that was empty. And in the end, you know, Stephen Lang died. And I yeah. love the balls for them to do that. You could say, why? Why are they, like, of course they're going to do this. But at the same time, you could look at it. There's so many movies, like, first one killed it. They're expecting this one to kill it. Even though it doesn't make sense to keep them around for another one, because how many of these movies you can you make? Well, you could even say that after the first one. How can they make a second one? They could keep milking this, but they had the balls to kill him off. That was fucking amazing to me, and some people might not like it. But personal views. You got a score for this one? I Like I said, I, I enjoyed this movie. I think you should definitely watch it. If you enjoyed the first one, definitely watch this one. I give it a 7. 7 out of 10. This one was hanging around like a mid-7 to me, and it just kind of kept growing. And then by the end of it, again, kind of like I was with Suicide Squad, I'm like, do I raise it to an 8? Do I not? But it fired on all cylinders at the end. They added it. I was like, where are we even going to go with this ending? There's nothing left. It's a surprise. They threw in the surprise with the daughter. I was like, this is fucking dark. Them going there with Lang's character, I thought it was great. I gave it an 8.3 out of 10. That's crazy, because I know how you were used to be 
when the trailers come out, you were like, eh, I don't know about it. You were hesitant on it and everything. Yeah. It's just, it's surprising to me that you gave it that high score, but that's awesome. Man. Then it all changed.